Hello YouTube, welcome to Dr. Vibes, a learning point. In this video, we will study about infantile hypertrophic pyloric stenosis. Let us start with the definition. So this is a clinical pathological condition in which newborns are affected and one newborn in every 300 to 900 live births, you find this disease. Presentation is usually in the first to eight weeks of life and males are four times more affected than females. Let us come to pathophysiology of congenital or infantile hypertrophic pyloric stenosis. So initially, there is lack of nitrogen. Initially, there is lack of nitric oxide in pyloric tissue. This will cause the hypertrophy and loss of the relaxation of the circular muscles of the pylorus. As a result of which, there will be constriction and gastric outlet obstruction because relaxation takes a nahi ho pa hai. This will lead to the accumulation of food products in the pylorus of the stomach causing non-bilious vomiting. The gastric contents will come out. Now, there is a video on the carcinoma of stomach where I have discussed that there is a metabolic derailment in case of non-bilious vomiting in which there is decreased sodium, decreased potassium, decreased chloride, hyponatremia, hypokalemia, hypochloremia. Metabolic alkalosis is there with paradoxical aciduria. So you get to see all these symptoms here as well because of infant because of gastric outlet obstruction. Now come to the clinical features of this disease. So first there will be progressively worsening non-bilious vomiting, one. Two, there will be visible gastric peristalsis moving from left to right. And third, the, the mothers will complain that there is a palpable olive shaped lump in the epigastric region. Now how will you evaluate this condition? First, you can do a chest x-ray to see that there is enlarged gastric bubble. You can do USG which is also the investigation of choice. Here the pyloric muscle thickness can be seen which should be more than 3 to 4 millimeter to be categorized as this disease and the length should be more than 15 to 18 millimeter. Third, you can also do ABG plus electrolytes because there is metabolic derailment. Now, how would you manage this condition? Initial management is always with uh, initial resuscitation with IV fluids that is you give normal saline to correct the electrolyte imbalance and then you can go for surgery which is known as Ramsted pyloromyotomy.